IoT devices. They're the answer. They're everywhere. We can create a massive botnet that will take down even the largest corporation. We're still in the wild, wild west for IoT. These manufacturers can't crank out devices quick enough to meet consumer demand. But they don't know about security. It's an afterthought to them if they even think about it at all. That's how the Mirai botnet took down websites like Reddit, Twitter, and Netflix. We can improve on this code and build an even bigger and larger botnet. Wait, 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 look at this. In 2018, a major IoT botnet incident will cause governments to step in and regulate IoT security. Attackers have already improved on the Mirai botnet source code, which paves the way for larger and stronger IoT botnets. As the attacks continue to grow in effectiveness, the damage they cause will grow in severity. This cycle will continue until the IoT manufacturing industry is incentivized or forced to add stronger security to their products. Be on the watch for a major IoT botnet attack in 2018 that finally causes governments to step in and address IoT security. Now before potential regulations are established, you can add additional network layers of security to your IoT devices. Administrators should segment these devices onto a dedicated IoT subnet and use services like WatchGuard's intrusion prevention to protect them. Might be harder than we thought, but there's still time. Let's get started with Linux devices. 